Hello and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to show how to make a virtual environment from the bleeding edge version of C Python uh, from the source. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I have pre-cloned C Python here. Let me actually move into that directory as well over here. Um, and I'm going to show you how to build C Python from source and install it into a particular subdirectory and then make a virtual environment from that subdirectory. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a directory that we're going to install it into. Uh, I conventionally call this prefix, so I'm just going to do make dir prefix, and I'm going to put that directory inside of CPython itself. Uh, this is where it'll get installed. So you can see the ls prefix, uh, it's just an empty, empty directory there. Now the th next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run the configure script, and we are going to tell the configure script that the prefix is that directory. So do uh, pwd slash prefix, this makes it expand the entire uh, thing here. So if we did echo pwd slash prefix, you'll see that that's a, a full path to this prefix directory. And so we'll run that. This is going to take a while. I'm actually going to hide this because otherwise it's going to cause the uh, <laughs> cause the compression of the video to get all messed up because a lot of text scrolling really quickly uh, makes, makes YouTube angry. So I'm going to hide that for a second. Uh, it should complete pretty soon. It's basically checking all of the uh, the options to compile and setting up a make file so that make file is, is correct by the time it tries to run. Uh, it takes not too long, uh, and afterwards you'll see that it is, it is uh, you know, exited zero, uh, which means it's successful. Now, sometimes this will fail and tell you that you're missing particular libraries, and so you might need to install some libraries in order to build this from source. Uh, I've already installed all those libraries, so I don't need to do that. Uh, but yeah, once that is done, once configure is done, we're going to call make next. Make is going to build Python. And so I'm going to do make. Uh, if you just do make, it's going to use one processor. I have five processors configured on my computer. So I'm going to do make dash j5. Uh, and it's going to build this from source. Mine is going to go much faster than you. I actually pre-built this beforehand, so it didn't take like 10 minutes to build. So uh, yours might take a little bit longer, but I've pre-built mine. And so once I've run make-j5, I can also run make install. And what this is going to do is it's going to install Python into that prefix directory. Uh, basically copying a bunch of files into there. Uh, I should do this so that we don't lose all the compression again. Uh, but that should be done now. Nope. Uh, but another thing to note is after I've run that first make command, there is actually a Python here. And you can play around with this Python just out of the box. Uh, but it's really hard to like install software and use this like a normal Python, so that's why I'm showing you how to make a virtual environment out of it. Uh, but yeah, you can you can see that this already supports you know like the new the new union syntax, for instance. Is this done now? Yeah, cool. So now that I have uh, done that, you'll see inside this prefix directory, it looks like the user directory on my computer. Uh, it doesn't have all the directories, but you can see we have bin, include, lib, and share. And these directories include stuff uh, that acts like the normal Python interpreter. So if you look inside prefix bin, you'll see that it's installed you know, Python. It's also installed idle and two to three and some other stuff in here. Uh, now, once we've created this environment, we can use this to make virtual environments. And uh, I'm just going to, I mean, I'll show you both ways to do it. Uh, but if we do prefix bin python3 m vm, so this will use the vm module that's built into Python, uh, you know, vm310 a5, whatever. Um, so that'll make a virtual environment. Vm, of course, takes a while. I don't know why it took so long. Uh, we can also use virtual env with this as well. So if you have virtual env installed on your computer, virtual env, vm 310 a5 uh, vm dash p and dash p asks which Python you're using, and you can do prefix bin Python, and that will create an environment for you much faster as well. But anyway, then you can you know activate these uh, virtual envs as usual, bin activate p and you know, Python version. And you can know, pip install pregment and do whatever do whatever you need to do. But you'll see that it allows you to install packages and work with that. Um, of course, when you're working with the kind of bleeding edge of Python, you're often going to have to build a lot of stuff from source because this version has not been released yet. And so, you know, in this case, PyAML doesn't have a pre-built wheel, and so it's going to have to build it from source. So often, a lot of libraries won't necessarily work here. Uh, but sometimes you'll need to try stuff out in the newest version. But anyway, that's how to build Python from source, install it to a prefix directory, and then make a virtual environment from that. Um, and note that I didn't need to use root anywhere in this. Uh, so this is all, you know, all entirely in user space. 
But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.